This week on Film Speak, we take a trip down memory lane, back when these mandatus dominated Nairobi and when an Afro was the in thing. The film Bantle of the Sacred Tree, released in the year 1995, was written and directed by one who has become the mother of film in Kenya, Wanjiro Kenyanju. It is a story highlighting religion and marriage. The plot, full of unexpected twists and turns, reveals the nature of life back in the 90s, still relevant today, where we have witnessed domestic violence in a way never seen before. You stay! Stay with your guns! But let me not see you back in our home again! After years of being bantered by the husband, Mombi, played by Margaret Nyachoi, leaves the husband and goes back to the village. Guess who? How should I know? Mombi, what are you doing here? She unfortunately meets up with uptight women who have been washed away by Christianity. The film took two years of her saving to properly produce it. And with such bold moves to make such a topical film, what favors did it bring? I traveled where I could never, because I was always broke as a student. I could never go to New York, San Francisco, uh, you know, many places. Eh? So I really traveled with it. And, uh, yeah, and it became quite a, well, it made me a filmmaker. You know, I was recognized now as one of the African filmmakers. The Battle of the Sacred Tree was her first project after she finished her academics abroad. Actually, I chose the Battle of Sacred Tree because I thought it was a very, very nice, light and actually deep story because it's about us it's about our culture about our religion about you know how we behave today a bit like you know i'm I, I, of course i've been influenced by people like ngoge people like okot bitek people you know african people like franz fanon you know third world things with all the traveling she realized western countries hardly knew the better part of africa her film sheds a light giving africa a new face so i wanted to do something that has nothing to do with all that what, what people know about africa but what we know about africa is that we laugh we, we have funny characters we have those ones who are always backbiting we have those ones who are always what we have this religious uh, you know this big religious thing you know praise God all the time and uh, I, wanted to, to, I wanted to do something that can show Africa in another way and not about poverty. Wanjiro Kenyanjui, bold move to produce such a daring film back in the 1990s, inspired quite a lot. In fact, uh, my film opened International Women's Festival in Créteil, Paris. My film opened uh, the African section and Safi Faye's film, Musan opened the whole festival. So I met Safi, who was the first African woman to make films. So the reception was very good. I even gave a lesson in cinema on video. <laughs> in New York also, I went to New York, and Goge Wadiong had come with about 10 Kenyans, and he thanked me for not embarrassing him. <laughs> with over 20 years in the film industry, how has the film industry evolved? Today, because of the digital revolution, many people have cameras, many people, many young people are learning by doing or by joining companies or by, you know, I think that's a proper revolution. The other revolution is that we are teaching film. And the good thing about young people today is they are not waiting for a job. They even invent their own. And of course, there are those things that have not changed. The only thing that hasn't changed is that we don't have any film policy yet. And, uh, but I heard that we are now grouped in the Ministry of Culture, which is a great thing. Because the Ministry of Culture means we are no longer money bound, you know, uh, by the broadcast. Because broadcast, TV, is about money more or less. According to Wanjiro Kenyanjui, making film in Kenya has become a rather tedious activity. And here is why. When you want to make a film in Kenya, you are a Kenyan, you don't have resources. But you still have to pay just like the Mzungu, just like Hollywood, the 15,000 and 1,000 per day to sh of shooting. And uh, you get a lot of red tape yourself. Eh? And then I don't think they have yet implement implemented the, the zero 
zero rating for equipment. I don't think so. People still have a lot of problems when they want to buy a camera from outside or bring one. Eh? So, so, so such things hinder uh, the development of film.